not taking anything from the, uh, the XSL, not doing anything. I just want to get everything hooked up, hooked up correctly. So in order to make the hookup correct, I go to my instance, and I've showed you this before, but I'll just review it here. I click on the little um, wrench thing here, and I choose New, and then I choose the URL or the path to the um, transform, in this case, simple, simple BC Resort XSL. In the output, I'm going to save the file as simple BC Resort. htm and that'll put it it'll put it by default in the same directory as the other ones and then I'll open that in the browser so that I can check it out and, and see it okay so now I can say transform now at this point and it'll do the transform now before I do this think to yourself what exactly is going on with this transform in this transform I'm applying this XSL file this one right here simple BC resort XSL to this instance file simple resort simple bc resort underscore file dot xml and the result will be what what do you expect that result to be very good idea to always anticipate the result before you get it so that you're not just taking down a garden path thinking that everything is okay what do you anticipate given the transform that i just created about what's going to happen make some assumption and then we'll do it and you'll see what happens all i get is the words this is a test. Okay, what happened was I applied the transform and it automatically opened it. It saved it as that HTML file and automatically opened it in the browser. And all I got was the words, this is a test. Why? Because in my transform, all it says is, this is a test. It doesn't do anything else. There's nothing else going on in this transform than the words, this is a test. So I got exactly what I, I needed to get. Um, and what I did in the process was I verified that everything is correct, everything is hooked up right, and this transform is now running properly. So now I have my stable, my stable starting point, and this is a very, very important point. Always get to a stable place before you take the next step. Always know that everything is working and you don't have major problems before taking the next step. That way, when you do have major problems, you can always back up to the previous step and try again. So get, get, do something, test it, say, yes, I'm in a good place. Do something, test it, say, yes, I'm in a good place. And always be able to go back to that good place so that um, if you get intolerably messed up, you have a good starting place. And each time you build a kind of a plateau, you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so per the instructions, the next thing I need to do is go to Simple Starter Resort HTML, take the entire H, take the entire simple the, the entire starter file. So I'm selecting the entire thing, copy it from here, and simply just paste it in here. Okay, so here's my here's my template, and now right into the middle of that, I paste that entire HTML file exactly as is. So now what do I have? Inside of my template match equals forward slash. I have that entire HTML file exactly as it was in the starter file. And now I'm going to try transforming again. So put the little transform button. Um, oops. Oh, sorry, I have to be in the XML file. I go to the XML file. I click my little transform. And now instead of this is a test, I get the, I get the starter file. And so at least I know that everything's in place and everything's OK. And so now. Um, uh, so now I'm again at a stable starting place. I know that I can get this. Of course, this isn't drawing anything in from the instance, right? This is this is simply just reproducing an XML file. This is really no better than saying this is a test. I haven't done anything interesting yet. All I've done is I've pasted an HTML file into the transform. But that's an that's an interesting thing to to, to think about in and of itself. I can I can paste this HTML file into the transform, and um, and uh, and it'll come out. Okay, so let me do a couple of more things just to play around with this and show you kind of how it works. Um, I'm going to find a place where I need to replace content. Notice it says leave this as is. It doesn't come from the XML file. But down here, ski and snowboard areas in British Columbia. Now I'm going to start to try and figure out, well, where does it come from in my instance? Go over to my instance. Um, and notice, I can see it right here. Ski and snowboard areas in British Columbia. 
but I'm going to be more tentative than just to go in and throw some XPath in there. I'm going to say instead that before I do that, let me just blank this out and say this comes from the description. Okay, I'm just marking the spot. And to make sure I haven't screwed anything up, I'm going to go back over to my XML file. I'm going to run it again. And now I see that instead of actually having the text there, it says this comes from the description. What I just did is a really nice way of getting comfortable and feeling like, yeah, I know what's going on here. I know when I change something in the instance, this is what the result is on the, um, on the HTML page. So that's a nice little intermediary step, a nice little kind of first step. Okay, so I did that. And now I say, okay, I'm pretty comfortable with that. This down here is going to be the title. Now let me go actually grab that title and that tagline, or the description, sorry. So I look up here and I say, this is forward slash BC snow forward slash description. And by the way, this is another nice thing you can do up here. See this little XPath thing down here? I can say forward slash BC snow, and it'll put in BC snow there, forward slash description. And now I can see, I can see down here that, yes, I found what I was looking for. So I tested my XPath here before actually using it in a transform. So I tested my XPath here. Now I can copy it from here. And now here um, in this description, I can say XSL colon value of, and then select, and I'm just going to paste in that XPath. So I tested my XPath inside the um, instance. Now I'm going to paste it in here. Now I took one little baby step. I'm going to transform again and make sure that this turns into, as it should, ski and snowboard areas in British Columbia. Now I've got my first bit of content that came actually from the instance in here. Okay, so I can mess around like that a little bit. 